More than six months after the earthquake and tsunami that devastated Japan, researchers at the University of Hawaii are using new models to track the millions of tons of debris floating in the Pacific Ocean. New at 6, KITV4's Amberlynn Hyden reports they now have a better idea of when that debris will reach Hawaii shores. Estimates of the debris floating in the ocean range between 10 and 20 million tons. This is aerial footage of some of the debris shot shortly after the tsunami. Experts estimate the debris cloud now stretches 1,000 miles wide. But of course you cannot expect it will be floating forever. Some of those uh, items they will sink. Probably you don't expect the car to float all the way to Hawaii. Scientists Jan Hafner and Nikolai Maximenko developed two model animations to help pinpoint the debris field's location. One model shows to date movement of tracers carried by ocean currents. The other model is based on climatology. Although Hafner can't scientifically determine what will stay afloat or sink, or even how much of the debris will come ashore, he says the models can show when debris will reach certain areas. We estimate the first land that would see the influx of uh, marine debris from uh, Japanese uh, tsunami will be Midway Islands, and it will be this winter. Followed by Hawaii's western shorelines in the spring of 2013, then the U.S. mainland in about three years. Hafner says the rest of the trash will likely end up circulating in what they call the North Pacific Garbage Patch. That means leftovers may wash up on Hawaiian shorelines and the U.S. West Coast in years to come. It would help us to validate how accurate our assessment is and we can correct and we can improve our predictions. The researchers are asking any ships in the northern Pacific to report their findings and take samples if possible. They warn that some objects may be hard to see or covered with algae and other marine life. Amberlynn Hyden, KITV4 News. And one note, the scientists say they won't be able to explain why some beaches get more debris than others.